What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and this is part 2 of the previous game I posted, the Conquest on Bazaar. Uh, basically, the game was too long, it was a 40 minute gameplay, if you haven't seen it, I'll have an annotation on the screen now, it was a 40 minute game, so I cut it down to two parts, and if you would seen the last video, you'll know the way I edited, edited, I have such a hard time saying that word, uh, the way I edited it was basically that, I just sped up any boring parts such as running around trying to find people, repairing our LEVs or whatever like that. And I just cut out the death sequences where um, where I, I dropped to the ground and I watched the, the death cam and then I picked a kit. And that was worth the suicide if you ask me. <laughs> Take that thing out. But uh, yeah, so for this second video I thought I'd talk a bit more about me and just kind of give you a background as to where I'm coming from in terms of gameplay and, and YouTube and stuff like that. So, as I said already, I'm Irish Gunner HD, but you can call me Irish. Real name's Brian, but I prefer Irish just because I'm so used to hearing it. Uh, I'm 19, or 19, I'm 20, uh, and I'm Irish, obviously, from Ireland. Uh, as far as games go, I play on the Xbox. I've had a PS3, I've had two PS3s, they both broke, and when the second one broke, I'm really into cars, so well, I seen after the second PlayStation broke, I was left console list for a couple of months or whatever, and then I seen an advertisement for um, Forza Motorsport 3 on the television, and it was obviously an Xbox only game, so I was like, okay, I, I want to get that, it looks really amazing, so for Christmas I got an Xbox and Forza and the wheel, for Microsoft wheel controller. And that started me off on Xbox, and from then I was playing mostly Forza for a while, and then I picked up some Call of Duty games, since I hadn't really got into Battlefield, but I'll get into that later. But, uh, yeah, so I picked up some Call of Duties, I became, like, really into Xbox, I met a good few people, became friends with a lot of people on the Xbox. And then I started through co playing Call of Duty, and I came onto YouTube, and basically started watching Call of Duty videos and I subscribed not to like the big channels I didn't really even know about them not like the Wings of Redemptions or the Woody's Gamer Tags or the White Boy 7 Streets or whatever like that I'd never really I, I'd never come across them strangely the first channel that I came across was NGT Next Gen Tactics and um, they were all about Call of Duty and Call of Duty Tactics and stuff like that because that's the kind of gamer I am I'm not like I like I'm not a search and destroy player on Call of Duty. I am mostly team deathmatch and free for all and stuff like that. But it was still good to see the strategies and routes and stuff like that. And um, so yeah, so I subscribed to uh, NGT and NGT had one guy doing battlefield videos. And keep an eye out there for that. I got team killed. He must have just got surprised, see me run around the corner and panic shot or something like that. But keep an eye out on his name, right? But uh, yeah, so. NGT had one guy on their channel, and to this day still only have one guy posting Battlefield content, and that is D-Crew Colin, who is an absolute hero, and he introduced me to the Battlefield series with Bad Company 2, and basically he just, he made it look so much, like such fun, basically, that as much as I liked Call of Duty at the time, I had to try out the Battlefield game, see, what, see if it was actually as good as it looked, because he played it tactically, he played it smart, he showed how good it can be played like it's not just uh as most cod people cod players tend to think you're just running around for the whole game trying to find someone to shoot because the maps are so weak he uh he really made it look appealing so i picked up battlefield bad company 2 and i like instantly just loved it like i really was so hooked on it i, I didn't play cod Duty again for a long time and i would even go so far as to say Towards the end of Battlefield 2's lifespan, the beginning of Battlefield 3, I was a major Battlefield elitist, shall we say. Um, I just looked down, after seeing how much Battlefield had to offer, I just really looked down on Call of Duty. But since Modern Warfare 3 came out, my sister's boyfriend doesn't play Battlefield. He's like the typical mindset, he just finds it too slow. So I have picked up Modern Warfare 3 just to play with him. but uh, And it's not terrible, it's just another Call of Duty. So, But... Uh, yeah, that's. <coughs> don't really want to be talking about Call of Duty and a Battlefield gameplay, so I'll move it on. Uh, so, yeah, so D Crew Colin, who then introduced me to uh, people, the D Crew themselves, like Don't Blink and Stoneface Lock and stuff like that, and they were really, really fun to watch, especially Don't Blink. Don't Blink was like. 
amazing. All his gameplays, all his commentaries are it's still art to stay very interesting, like very watchable. And uh Yeah, so it went to expanded then to the D crew and then lately now as Battlefield three gets into like its kind of midway point in its lifespan I'd say. I've been introduced through Colin again uh, to Rival X Factor and Level Cap and then that kind of group of guys, Sergeant Merrill and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm really, really liking the stuff that they they put out. I watch all of it. Like it's so helpful. It's not even funny. Like they know this game inside out. Like they, there's nothing. There's no like subtle nuances about this game that they don't get. Like they've picked up on everything. And. Uh, but it, it all comes back to Colin. He's been such a big influence on me gaming-wise to transition from playing COD on the PS3 to now being like a die-hard Battlefield 3 predominantly uh, player on the Xbox. Like it was, it's been a big change. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I've come from, and like as far as where why I'm doing this now, I've just seen I've been so interested in the whole making videos and recording my games and putting them online and stuff like that that i eventually just i had a birthday had a couple of, i actually know a guy that i used to go to school with who was selling the hdp vr for 100 euro and anyone that knows hdp vrs they go for 250 250 is the general price for the hdp vr like new so when i seen this guy offering it selling it for 100 euro i was like yes man i will have that so I bought it off him and this is the result. Now as far as my channel goes, I do want to explain something. You might be seeing this and thinking, well if you're so battlefield, why if you're so such a battlefield diehard, why have you got like two or three Call of Duty videos and some Forza videos? But mainly just because I do play Call of Duty, I am pretty decent at it I'd say. Uh, and I really love Forza. Uh, but the main reason is that I post those so that I've posted those so far, so far is that uh I this is a brand new channel and I can't actually upload longer than 15 minutes which is pretty annoying but um that's that's purely John reason they're just kind of filler videos to get me to the stage where I can upload longer than upload longer than 15 minutes so I can start uploading some like proper gameplays because it seems since the patch with the rent servers I've been getting into like this server itself is a 400 ticket server and um yeah it it's just kind of the games are so long that I can't physically like edit them down to like the first two games I tried to upload I tried to upload were 15 16 17 minutes like and that was with editing the way I've edited this one and it only occurred to me while editing this video to split it into two parts so you'll see now something very funny is gonna happen I'm just gonna you I pointed out in the video but I didn't mean for this to happen okay so watch Soul Assassin. <laughs> I team killed him back, which is kind of weird because I obviously did mean to. I was nowhere near him. I don't know what happened. He must have walked past some uh, a jeep that I blew up or something like that. But I just I didn't even notice that while I was playing the game. It was when I was uh, editing the video back that I noticed that I team killed him back basically. So I got my revenge. I'm not a team killer, but and look at this. He had spawn protection on, and I was such an idiot. I didn't even realize. I was like, why is this not doing any damage? And I forgot he had spawn protection. He didn't move. But uh, yeah, it was just kind of weird the way I got like my revenge, my team killed revenge on him without actually meaning to do it. And God knows where he even he died. But yeah, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, where was I? Uh, yeah, with the PVR and stuff like that. So that's just where I am so far. I've posted... Or sorry, yeah, actually the... The 15 minute time limit thing that you get for new channels. I'm basically just trying to get past that. So now I've hopefully posted a full game Battlefield. I'll be in two parts. I'm um, hopefully on my way because I I want to do more of these because they are really fun. Like editing and the recording and giving my thoughts on my gameplay. And it's not oh it's not gonna always be uh, these just kind of rambling about the game because that can get kind of boring and repetitive. When I have if and when I have some kind of following, a uh, couple hundred subscribers or whatever like that, I will start giving my opinions on other things that I would like to give my opinion about, but don't actually have like a following to give it to. Like, 
at the minute I think I have four subscribers and that's just the way it has to be for now that's how it starts off but uh, yeah the game comes to an end now we fairly as you if you'll see the first video we fairly dominated them like we just they weren't that good at all but we took the win uh, I was proud of it I think I finished best in my squad at least yeah best in my squad only one guy finished better than I did and he was just must have just been uh, uh, capturing flags and stuff like that but yeah that's me and that's why I'm here and doing this and I hope you did enjoy the game and my commentaries and I got promoted in that game I was happy for this so if you did please leave a like and uh, if you didn't leave a dislike if you want but make sure to leave a comment just let me know what you thought and if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button up above uh, I really appreciate it so I just want to say thanks for watching the video and goodbye